overflows. Repression, the automatic reaction. If you become more aware in your day-to-day -day work, in your ordinary life, the awareness will grow. And with that awareness, you will not be just a mechanical thing. For the first time, you will become a person. Now, you are not one. And a person has a face, a mechanical thing, has many masks, no face. Indeed, repression has become an automatic reaction in our day-to-day body-mind mechanism and now we cannot recognize or can change it. For this several things have to be understood for first. All your faces are false and you do not have any real face. That is why the question arises again and again which is false and which is real. If you have the real you know then the question never arises. All the faces are unreal, so you do not have to make any comparison. You do not need to know the real, and that is the difficulty. You have not seen what is real, and the real is not seen naturally. Much effort is needed to find that. In Zen, the real is known as the original face, the face you had before birth, the face you will have after death. That means all the faces in life, the so-called life, are false. How to find out what is real face? You will have to go back before birth. That is the only way to find the real face because the moment you are born you have already been false because of conditionings etc. You have started being false because it pays to be false. That is why when I say you have to go before birth we begin the process of meditation and different techniques of meditation how to go before birth and discover your original face. The child is born, he has to start to be a politician. The moment he is related to the world, to the parents, to the family, he is in politics. Now he has to make, take care about the faces. He will smile as a bribery. He will try to find out in what ways he should behave so that he is accepted more, loved more, appreciated more and sooner or later the child will find out what is condemned by the parents, the family and he will start repressing it. Then the false has entered. So all the faces you have are false. Do not try to find out the real one among the false present faces. They are all false. Similarly, false. They are useful. That is why they have been adopted. They are utilitarian, but not true. And the deepest deception is that whenever you become aware that your faces are false, you will try to create another face which you think is real. For example, a person has to live an ordinary life in an ordinary world with businesses, a family. He comes to realize his total falseness and inauthenticity of his life. So he tries to renounce it. He decides to leave the world to start the process of transformation and he may be thinking that now the face is real. It is again a false face. It has been adopted as a reaction to the other faces, not as a, process, as a natural process. And with a reaction you can never go, never get to the real. 
by reacting to the false faces you will go on creating false faces so what is to be done the real is not something which has to be achieved the false you have to achieve the real is not something which is to be achieved it is not something to be cultivated instead it is something to be discovered and for that we use the technique of meditation it is already there you need not try to attain to it because any effort will lead to some other false face for a false face much effort is needed it has to be cultivated for the real face you have not to do anything it is already there if you simply leave your clinging to the false faces the false will draw and that which is real will remain all the false faces will drop when you have nothing to drop only that which cannot be dropped is there you will come to realize what is real meditation is the way to start dropping the pros dropping the false faces that which is there is so much that is why there is so much insistence on being thoughtless because without thought you cannot create a false face only in a thoughtless state of awareness you will experience and realize your real face remember it is basically thought that creates a false face and mask when there is no thought there can be no face you are faceless and faceless state is the state of real face since both mean the same thing you can use either of the two without any conflict faceless face or real face so be aware of your thought process do not fight with it do not repress it simply have awareness the thoughts are there just like clouds in the sky and you are looking at them without any prejudice either for or against if you are against you are you will be fighting and that very fight will create new thought process if you are for them you will forget yourself and you will float in the current of that thought process you will not be there as a conscious witness if you are far you will be in the process if you are against you will be creating another process of reaction both have to be abandoned so do not be far or against it allow the thoughts to move let them go wherever they are going be in a state of deep let go and simply witness whatsoever is passing witness do not judge do not say it is good or it is bad if the thought of a divine being comes do not say it is beautiful and the moment you say you have identified with it already and you are cooperating with that thought process you are helping it you are giving energy to it you are feeding it and if you are feeding you can never drop it or if there is a thought a sexual thought do not say it is bad if this is sin because when you say this is sin you have created another series of thought sex is a thought sin is a thought both are processes god is a thought it makes no difference whether the thought is a sexual or of sin or of god be neither for or against simply look at them with an 
unprejudiced eyes just watching uh, indifferently helps you remember jesus statement judge not that ye not be judged this will take time because your mind is so occupied with different notions it will be difficult in the beginning the moment you see something you have judged it we do not wait because there is not even a single moment's gap between you see something and a thought comes you see a flower and you have already said it is beautiful in the very scene the interpretation comes in the flowers are blossoming let them blossom be with it be one with it instead of saying anything it is good or bad you will have to be constantly aware to drop this mechanical habit of judging you have to start practicing it on a day to day basis start with the small things then a moment comes then whatsoever is happening in front of you or passing in front of you you will remain a witness to it as if it has nothing to do with you you see a face and you have already judged it ugly good bad or anything else the judgment has become so deep rooted we cannot see anything simply jesus spoke in parables judge not that ye not be judged but this is a great statement which has a deep meaning in it if this particular statement can transform your life just not chanting it following it what does it mean judging judge ye not that he not be judged but the moment as something happens we begin to arrive at a conclusion and that conclusion is a judgment this judgment has become so deep rooted that we cannot see anything simply mind enters for interpretation mind has to enter and it enters immediately without your even knowing it it becomes an interpretation it is not simply a vision do not interpret simply see and that is enough and that is all that you need to do judge ye not that ye not be judged enough for now